नमस्ते मैं हूँ डॉक्टर अभिष्टता एंड टुडे वी बी टॉकिंग अ बिट अबाउट इंसुलिन फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट व्हाट इज इंसुलिन सो इंसुलिन इज कंसिडर्ड टू बी अ शुगर लोअरिंग हार्मोन व्हिच नेचुरली अकर्स इन योर ब्लड सिस्टम बट देयर सर्टेन सिचुएशंस इन व्हिच यू नीड टू टेक एक्सटर्नल इंसुलिन दीज सिचुएशंस आर इफ यू आर डायग्नोस्ड विद ईदर टाइप 1 डायबिटीज और यू हैव अनकंट्रोल्ड टाइप 2 डायबिटीज और यू हैव समथिंग कॉल्ड जेस्टेशनल डायबिटीज व्हिच इज डायबिटीज दैट अकर्स इन प्रेगनेंसीज this these are certain situations in which your doctor might prescribe insulin now there are various types of insulin uh, available from ultra short acting to short acting to mixed art insulin to long acting to ultra long acting insulin of course this will be determined by your doctor the dosage is also determined by your doctor what i'm going to be focusing on today is how do you need to use insulin how do you administer it what are certain precautions that you need to take firstly how do you use insulin so as i mentioned insulin of course is as you prescribed by your doctor but in insulin also we have uh, people who administer it by syringe or you can use a pen filled uh, insulin which is the one that i have right now in my hands now there are of course many advantages to using this type of insulin first and foremost it's very convenient to use the storage is very easy and of course the insulin doesn't get damaged because of extremes in temperature So what are the various parts in this pen filled syringe of course you have a meter dose that you can decide based on how much your doctor has prescribed it also has a needle at the end to which you are supposed to administer the insulin along with this you will have a cartridge which would be provided to you you either have pre filled cartridges which are used in throw pens or you can have a reusable pen where you can repeatedly insert the cartridge another very important point about insulin before you administer it is look at the insulin solution it is either clear or slightly opaque before administering the insulin always tilt the pen up and down like this to ensure that the insulin there are no sediments um which are present inside the cartridge itself so um the insulin pre filled syringe would uh, have a meter dose at the end so you're supposed to pull out the knob and adjust the dose as per how much your doctor has prescribed please check the dose 2 to 3 times before you administer the insulin just to be 100% sure that you're taking the right dose because if you take too much insulin you can have very low sugars which is called hypoglycemia if you take very low dose insulin then you might have very high sugars and you might end up going into a state known as diabetic ketoacidosis So this is your meter dose insulin once you fix the dose you can just click the device so that the dose doesn't change now what are the various sites of administration of insulin when we come to sites of administration the most common and most convenient one that we recommend is around the abdomen around the navel area or the outer aspect aspects of your arms or on the outer aspects of your thighs it's very important that you change the site of insulin administration with each dose that you're taking if you take the insulin dose at the same site repeatedly you can have something known as lipodystrophy which is basically the fat in that area gets affected or you can also have an infection and before administering insulin what could also be better is you have an alcohol swab where you can wipe the area once before administering the dose and let it dry Now after you have obviously administered the dose of insulin there's nothing much to do all the precautions have to be taken before you administer insulin now the other things that you do also have to keep in mind is the way you store insulin so insulin should ideally be stored at a temperature anywhere between 2 to 8 degrees centigrade if you're using it with a syringe if you have a pen filled syringe it can be between 2 to 30 degrees centigrade these instructions will be given on your device or on the box of insulin where the ideal temperature would be mentioned this is very very important do not freeze your insulin or keep it in very high temperatures because the molecule will disintegrate certain precautions that you need to take and uh, keep in mind before you actually administer insulin like i says the dosage is very very important to fix your dose before you administer the insulin you can wipe the area with an alcohol swab before administering the insulin always change the site of insulin administration to avoid chances of infection 
or any um, effect to the fat or the muscle in that area and lastly the doses should not be either too low or too high it should be as per what has been prescribed by your doctor because if you take way too much insulin there's a risk of hypoglycemia and if you take way too low a dose of uh, insulin there's a risk of elevated blood sugar levels which can also lead to a state of something known as diabetic ketoacidosis don't forget to like and share this video for more such videos, do subscribe to the M Fine channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any update.